What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up, guys? Your girl Ariana, that cute little brown girl. Everybody want a little taste of that. Ha ha ha. And today, guys, I'm back with a mukbang, 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 whatever you want to call it. So, today, guys, I'm not going to be fancy. I got a bowl and a spoon. Eric, right, what could you be eating? Cereal? No. How about beans and rice? Just kidding. It's cereal. So, I know you're probably thinking, like, Eric, right, usually people drink, eat, like, other food but it's my job to be different to be different so you can probably hear the music in the background that is gilly we're trying to go to a water park today so so i got me some cereal So, put some milk in here, and I guess I'm gonna talk to you guys today about, hmm, what's something interesting? So I don't put too much milk in that. Mm -hmm. mm. So, these are chocolate lucky, huh? These are good. Okay, y'all, so, let me see. What can I, what can I do this about? Hmm. Let's talk about like, trust. I don't trust a lot of people. I, I observe a lot of people. But it's hard for me to like trust people. And so, I guess it's like a advice like, when it comes to trusting somebody. So I read this one DM, it was like this girl, how can she trust somebody that she had like feelings for? How can she trust herself? That was like really good, like good question. How can she trust herself, you know, to, you know, trust this boy where she's, you know, scared she gonna keep bringing up stuff from the past and all that stuff. And oh, I like my face too hard. Anyway, she was mainly like. This is weird. It was like, I feel like you trust yourself. You have to forgive. You have to forgive in order for you to forget. And of course, if you don't forget, you learn from what you, you know, what happened to you. If you cheated, you know, lied to you, whatever. You gotta trust it, and then you gotta, you gotta know yourself. Don't get into something if you know you gonna make your relationship worse because you're not able to trust them. Like some people just, you know. Some people don't change, but some you gotta understand that some people do change. And if you got that mindset, then nothing can really stop you or phase you because you're constantly gonna be thinking about, wow, these niggas is really not nothing. And you can't control it. You just gotta put some distance between trying to love somebody automatically and not knowing them well, and trust yourself that and trust God that, you know what I'm saying, like, you're not going to put yourself in harm's way. Like, there's nothing in this world that you go through that you can't handle. Like, if it's for, a, you know, a day, a month, a year, years, there's nothing in this world that you just can't overcome. Like, unless you just don't want to overcome it. And it starts spiraling. But, let me tell you about this one boy I was talking to. I was talking to this one boy. He was back in school. And we were talking to school. He like... Oh, you cute. I'm like, boy, bye. He used to hang out with all the like, little seniors and stuff. And I remember walking in the hallway, and my friend, she talked to one of the boys that used to be in the little circle. And she was talking to him, and it was like, tell your friend, come here. And she was like, Erie, come here. I said, okay. <laughs> I walked over there, and he like, what's up? I said, hi. Anyway, they finished the conversation. I said, okay, girl, we gotta go to class. I'm not gonna say names, because I don't want nobody messaging me three years later back home about them out. I don't appreciate you having my name in the video. Like, girl, bye. <laughs> I don't have time for none of that. Boys, none of that. Keep that where you at. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, so then I walk away. So then, you know, I end up getting in the hallway. Somehow I was going to the bathroom, and he ended up being at his locker by himself. So I walk by, and you know me. Like, I'm nervous. Like, I'm like, don't say nothing to him. Like... I'm looking down, but I looked at cute that day. And I just remember him like, you ain't gonna speak? And I was like, 
Oh, hey, he was like, dang, can I get up? That's their favorite line. Oh, you know me. I'm gonna give him a hug. I'm like, right. if I give him the one hand, them not the real hug. Jesus, though. Oh, wow, this person is important to me. Like, oh, wow, I care about you enough to hug you. This the, oh, you cool. And this is the, uh, I'm, I got too much stuff in my hand. I'm not really in the mood to hug, but you cool. I don't know. It depends on my mood, where my hugs me. So, don't go reaching. She hugs them this way. She must have, you don't do that. I'm just saying, like, it depends on my mood and depends on the person, like, you know, but I go to his locker, give him a hug, he like, you don't, you don't talk to me, I'm like, what you mean, I'm at the real dumb, I'm like, what you mean, <laughs> he like, you, know, you don't talk to me, I'm like, what, so then he goes, what did he say to me, what did he say, he said, well, get my number, I said, I said, what I say? I'm gonna name him um, Z. I said, Z, I'm like, I'm like, I heard about you. And he like, what you mean? I said that you you like freshmen and sophomores and you just, you like anything that got a hole in it. And he was like, who told you that? I said, all the girls. And he like, that's cause I'm not talking to them. Like, he like, man, whatever. And so he got an attitude. So I'm like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? He's like, oh, well, that's cool. You don't give me a number. I said, well, I'll just give him a kick. So we start kicking each other. So next thing you know, we can kick in. And when I say kick, I don't, if y'all know, like the real back in the day people, like kick was an app where you used to message each other. You could see, like this is when you first knew that like, people read your messages and was typing. This is the first people to do it, to me. And I'm looking. I got a little milk on my hand. <laughs> that is so trifling. Anyway, more the story. I look at him, I'm talking. And then he goes, I go home, I go to my class. I'm in there, I'm happy. But he kicked me in school. Like, you look cute today. Thank you. So then, I go home. Uh, he, before we left, we was, I think we had two periods left. And so he talking to me the whole sixth period. But I told him I can't talk to my seventh period. Like, I don't take my phone out there. Seventh period come, he was like, okay. But after class, um, uh, where your locker at? I was like, um, my locker is kind of by yours, but on the second hall. He was like, oh, okay, well, I'm gonna find you after school. He was like, just look for me. I'll walk you to uh, the bus. I said, um, okay. My just in the day, this not go home back in the morning. So I'm walking after class, and I'm not telling my friends anything because I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm not, you know what I'm saying? Of course, I have to tell my thing going outside, but I'm like, you know, but I'm looking crazy. My friend's thinking that you're about to walk with me. So I remember being in my locker and I seen him, but he was walking with like four of his friends. He was in the middle. I remember seeing him and I was like, should I leave and walk and he'll catch up to me? But I said, take him, finish doing what you're doing. So I went real slow, put my combination in, grab my stuff. And he didn't speak or nothing. He walked right by with his friends. And so I was like, I knew it. But he was just like, all right, bye, y'all. Then he came back to my locker. He was talking to me like, nah, I can't remember what he said, but we was talking, I was like, and then I just remember walking, and I had my phone, like, I'm like, and he like, you know what I'm saying? So we get to this little lobby that all, everybody went to. Like, it was like the lit spot. Like, if you like the, like the boy, you like the girl, that's who you was trying to talk to, anything, that's where the, everything was at, so. I'm like, there. Yeah. And he was like, what you doing after school? I was like, oh, I got to work. So I work at McDonald's. He was like, you drive? I'm like, yeah. He's like, oh. And so I'm like, all right. I'll wait for my friends because my friends meet me downstairs. They, they are already down there. I'm wondering what's taking me so long. They're like, I, girl, we right here with you. Like, what are you doing? I'm like, oh, my bad. And they're like, I see you with Z. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. So... We walked to the car and they're like, when that happened, like, and so my other friend, she, she's just loud and a hater. She, she was just used to be one of the friends that's like, girl, all you want is one thing. I'm like, okay, and I'm like, I'm not gonna give it to him. So why is he talking to me? Like, it's only been a day. I'm not about to marry this man. So then we walk, we go to the car, we having a good old day. And I'm like, I didn't hear from him like after school or nothing. Like I didn't hear nothing from him. And oh y'all, I just lied. That was another time. This time I had cheer practice after school, so we, me, we, I used to hurry up and go change and hopefully waiting for whoever didn't have that ride, so that way we can come out. This is my little fast moment. We come out in our little cheer shorts and cheer shirts. Mind you, it wasn't tight enough, but I had, an, I was skinny, so stuff didn't look like if I had them on now, they didn't look like that. They were just real cute. So I'm like, what's up? So I'm feeling myself. I'm like, 
I come back out there. I just remember talking. And he like, and his boys looking at me. And he like, uh, he was like, where you got clothes at? And we like, we have cheer practice. And so somehow our, the gym was hot, so we ended up work, working out right in that area. So everybody stretching, and we like, we can stay out here. We just gotta stretch. What? And I just remember talking to him, and then I remember getting the message, and he was like, "Well, I'll talk to you after your cheer practice. What time is over?" I'm like, "Oh, it's over at six. He's like, oh, "Okay, well, I'll see you then." So he messaged me after we ended up texting and everything. It was just so weird. Like we ended up talking for like until he. We, oh my god, we were talking for such a long time. We had an on and off like friendship, like ship. It was so weird. But he was always older than me, and he was like, he had possessive moments. But it was like, even though I was younger, because I had so many people in my head, I didn't really trust him. And like, we didn't get arguments because we wasn't together together. But like, it was so much with that life. And when people found out I was talking to him, this girl on my cheer team apparently had some deep down love for him, but she had a whole boyfriend. Like, how you, I, what? So then he started dating this other girl or had friends with this other girl that he used to date before I even moved down to the area. And he was still in love with her but then he got over her and he ended up wanting to be with this other girl and she like oh my god we're not friends like why would you do that to me i'm like girl you knew i like this boy like bye everybody knew like from the first time you talked to me i've been talking to this boy since sophomore year we juniors and seniors now you didn't graduate already like don't be calling me on that but i'm gonna get to this on that later i don't know what i was talking about that's a good story that really happened that really really happened that's crazy Wow, people really used to try me. Hey, girl, if I want your man, you can have him. Even having people in the competition with me is like, you're losing. Because you don't get you an airy. Now, she might be cute. Her urges may be late. Her body may be slayed, but she ain't married. Because what's she doing right now? What y'all doing right now? Nobody believes in me. I said it in high school. I said it to everybody. Every day, do not sleep on me. What everybody do? Yeah, they were trying to wake up and they're trying to slide back in my life. And I'm like, block, 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 block. Keep that same energy with them little skinny girls y'all like. Keep it. And the girls who was so cute, that's strippers now. Nothing is strippers because I, I respect y'all. But you see what I'm saying? Like, don't do me. Like, oh, Eric, yeah, don't dress this way or I'm sure we look like them. And da, da, da. But I'm cute. I'm confident. And I know I'm a baddie in my own world. Somebody out there think I'm cute. And that's what, to my girls out there, you gotta have that mindset. Like, people in your school might not think you're the prettiest boom room, but somebody in your college gonna think you fine. People in college might not think you fine, but somebody at your job gonna think you the most beautiful girl in the world. It's somebody out there for everybody. The ratio nowadays is a little different, you know, with our generation and stuff, but, girl, boo boo boo, boo boo. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, turn on the post notifications, hit that thumbs up button, and comment down below. See me all day, every day, if you know now, you know. Be thankful for my little stop on the road to a million. If you didn't know, now you know. I love y'all. We're not be here without y'all. See me all day, every day. Boom, boom, boom. I'm out. Yep. Yeah.